guys and welcome back to Geeks of the Realm. Now in this video I'm going to do a painting tutorial, okay? Um, while I was at the UK Games Expo, um, a lovely couple of guys came over uh, and had a chat. He was actually a father and son, um, came over and so I wanted to get into the game. And uh, he's actually been messaging me um, through my Facebook page and sort of telling me obviously he's bought into the game now. He's, he's loving it and he's started painting his... Um, his Starcraft, and he's actually shown me a couple of pictures, and it's his first time he's painted the uh, any miniatures. And I tell you what, they're actually pretty cool. Okay, like for his first time, they are pretty cool. And what he's done is he's uh, he's asked. So this guy called uh, Jason Frost, he's asked, um, "How do I paint my wolves as well as uh, cavalry?" So what I said was, "I'll tell you what, I'll do a painting tutorial for you. Okay, of how quickly and easy I paint mine to." Well, a good tabletop standard, but actually you can go a bit further if you want to go highlighting a lot more and a lot more sort of shades, which we'll talk about. So, Jason, I am going to um, paint Shaggy Dog, okay, which will be the darker colour one. And I'm going to go and paint Ghost, okay. So we've got a, a white, sounded like a light grey white dog, and a darky, blacky, dark grey colour one as well, okay. So, let's get into it. Right, so, the first thing you need to do when you are painting any miniature is undercoat it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to undercoat the actual wolves, the puppies, with grey. And the reason why I'm going to do that is with grey, I can highlight it up with white and we still get the grey sort of shading underneath the, uh, um, under the... So what I'm looking for under the fur there we go so we can still get the actual gray shade underneath the fur so you can actually pick it out as well and then we'll highlight it up with um, with sort of the gradual whites and with gray we can then darken it down but we don't want it to be too dark where it's sort of like a black because it's actually the the picture is actually of a dark gray um, dog for, for shaggy dog so what I'm going to do is instead of getting a paintbrush and trying to put it all on because again you could sort of do it with thick coats and put it over and then you'll miss out on the actual um, detail I'm going to use my grey primer just a spray paint and I got this from the pound shop so grey primer if you don't have grey primer then by all means use your paint but you'll have to do a few sort of thin coats to make sure you can keep all the actual um, detail that's why I use this and it takes it's quick as well so all I do is literally give my kind of shake. Okay, and I literally grab hold of it. You normally do this outside, but I'm gonna do it in here because it's actually raining outside at the moment. So I'm just gonna do it in here so you can all see. Get my spray and I just, just a little short burst like that. There's one, and then do the other one. You can see this better actually because this is a blue colour. I'll go grey in a second. That's it. Just make sure we get all underneath. There we go. And we give that a little time to dry. So there we go. Okay, and you can see it's all wet now. So we'll give that five ten minutes to dry and then we'll come back and we'll start with the uh put the different layers on all right right so we've put the gray on and now we need to sort of bring up the highlight of ghost now ghost is white okay very simple he's white but if i painted the whole thing white it just wouldn't look great so what we need to do is we need to start bringing up the highlights so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use celestra gray Okay, and I'm just going to literally a uh, highlight, leaving underneath a little bit darker. So I will I will dry brush. Okay, using a medium dry brush, is it? Yeah, not a small dry brush. Okay, using a small dry brush, and I'm going to try and focus it more on the top. I will go underneath, but not as hard because shadows underneath him. You see, so underneath his legs and underneath his sort of here, we're going to leave that a little bit grayer. Okay, so all we do get our Celestra Grey, and then we wipe it onto. I don't have, 
don't know where my, uh, my paper is, so I'm just going to put that, and I also like to do it on my hand as well, okay? So, you won't see much of difference on this, okay, because it is just a slight, slight difference. Because the grey I used was a pound shop one, which is a little bit, um, a bit of a light grey. I would say it was more of a sort of administratum grey I've used as the, uh, as the base colour. So we just literally dry brush him all over, pay more attention to the top, okay, to the top in his fur. Okay, and then on his tail as well, top of his tail, his legs, and then underneath, just a nice gentle dry brush, okay. All I'm doing is a nice gentle one, so I can keep some of the darkness underneath there. Okay, just like so. You can't really tell the difference. And to be fair, you won't be able to tell the difference anyway because <laughs> the camera I'm using is shocking. Yeah, I'm just waiting to uh, invest in some nice camera. I just don't know which camera is yet to take, okay, or to use. Camera and audio system, I think that's what we need. I might get a I don't know, I might get a web camera. So, nice and quickly dry brushed, okay? So I don't know if you can see. Probably not. Okay, but you can see there's a slight difference, okay? And then, once that's done, I'm gonna mix some of this dry paint. So, okay, so Citadel dry um, paint, which is the Praxetti White. So again, Takes up my dry brush, dip that in, and then I'm going to mix a bit of that with the Celestra Grey. Okay, just a little bit. Again, all it is is a lot of this high dry brushing the highlights up. Okay, and then once we've done all this and we've got the colour we want, okay, then we're going to put a nice wash over it to bring it out again. Okay. So, just a nice quick dry brush. These don't take long at all, okay? It's the bases to make it look nice. And I always think if you do the bases really nice, it makes the model look 10 times better, okay? The basing really does, does it. And what I'm gonna do is a bit of a tip for basing, okay? I'm gonna show you that later on when I'm gonna base it by using some household, some household, um, stuff to put a nice base on it okay there we go so and now what we're doing is i'm using so we've done all that gray white now i'm just going to bring on the pure white okay and the pure white i'm going to go over so you, now you can see the proper distinction between the colors now and again leaving underneath where the sun's not got to Leaving that a little bit greyer, and I'll show you this one because it's actually you can probably see this one better because of how well different it is, really. So, and you can see it's actually it hasn't taken me this long to do ghost. Okay, so ghost is almost done with these uh, painting. You're probably doing a bit more of a dry drying time. Than actually uh, painting. So there we go, right. A bit more white. Bring it out a little bit more. There we go. A little bit more. That's better. So I'm focusing it mainly on top. Okay, so you can see underneath. Let's see if we can get this here. Let's have a look. Bonk. So underneath it's a bit greyer, and on top it's more white. Okay. So underneath it is a little bit greyer, on top it's more white. Okay. So that's that. Okay. So that is him pretty much. Well, with the colours now, I need to put a wash on him and then I bring back up with the, the light. The reason why I'm doing the wash 
so it goes into the crevices a little bit more uh, and the wash we'll talk about when I'm just about to do that but let's move on to where are you there he is shaggy dog now shaggy dog is darker so what we do is we use that gray we're now going to dry brush using eshing gray okay now it's kind of like it's a bit weird with this one because I'm actually using eshing gray as a highlight it's a bit weird but trust me it works so eshing gray and again I'm just going over and this is a heavy dry brush now so not a light one this is a heavy dry brush and I'm going to pick out the tops of him okay I'm going to put like a little pattern on where I want him because he's not fully if you look at him he's not actually fully dark grey okay so his paws are so I do his legs and his paws the top of him is dark grey okay and his tail so then he's patchy on his underneath okay he's a little bit uh, patchy a little bit lighter so I'm just going to let that we go okay his face as well so as you can see he is a lot darker now than ghost okay so what we do is we let this one dry because eshing gray is not a dry paint it takes a while so it'll take a couple of minutes to get that dry enough for us to then Put on tiniest black, and this is where the, the black comes in. So, a bad and black into our eshing grey, and it darkens our eshing grey up very well. Okay, and again with this one, I'm just gonna make sure it's dry because I'm not putting lots of paint on this, it doesn't take that long to dry. Okay, so click on this and I just pick out a little pattern yeah just a pattern I'm not putting loads on okay I'm just picking out the sort of different colors the different contrast of colors so I'm not bothered about um, detail at the moment it's all about getting a color in for shaggy dog okay so shaggy dog there we go There we go. So Shaggy Dog is now, let's get back the idea. There we go. So Shaggy Dog is darker. Okay. He's a lot darker now. Compared to a ghost, you can tell the, you can tell the difference. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pick out the detail. And how we do that is we use some null oil okay now null oil with some where did I put it you use some of the thinner and I can't remember where I've put it now oh there it is so lamium medium okay you mix lamium medium with null oil the reason for that is your null oil then becomes easier to um, to put on because you're not putting it on too dark, so it doesn't look like a dark figure. If you put null null oil with lamium medium, it sort of thins it, so it's very very see through. Okay, and then you can put layer upon layer upon layer of your um, of your wash really. So with ghost, yeah, lamium medium, and then with ghost, I'm just going to literally drag it all over okay all over him and you'll see it starts picking out all that detail okay and then if it starts pooling we stop that pooling okay and don't forget to do underneath and we can leave the pooling for underneath sometimes you might want a little bit to make it look a little bit darker okay and then what we do after we've done this we're then gonna dry brush it again with the uh, that white that um, Praxetti white we're going to dry brush it so what we're doing here is we, 
all this wash is going into the recesses so it darkens it down a little bit okay goes into the recesses and it brings out the detail and then what we can do is we can make the detail really punch and once it comes out really punchy it looks really good and then we can work on the detail the actual details of the mouth and the eyes and stuff so with shaggy dog shaggy dog's a little bit different for shaggy dog's dark i'm going to use null oil straight okay so this one my null oil i'm not getting loads of it okay i'm going to put it on my brush and then i'm just going to go in there what it does is it darkens it down ever so slightly okay Gets into the recesses and the, the highlighted parts look uh, look nice. Kind of mixes the, um, the colours together. Yeah, blends them together. Okay. So, there we go. Make sure we get on all that. Now, it does take a little while to, uh, to dry. So, I would suggest if you're in a nice warm place, it'll take about half hour to dry. If you're not, like me, I'm actually in my man shed. Yeah, where I do all my videos and me painting because the wife doesn't want me in the house doing it <laughs> gets it all over the place um, in here it's, I mean, it's warm enough but it'll probably take about an hour to dry so there we go so that's darkened down you can see that the darkened down that they've gone darker now okay now what we're going to do is we're going to let them dry and then we'll come back once they're dry. Right, so now we've got it dried. Okay, so we're going to go back to Ghost now. And what we do with Ghost, we've got our dry paint, our white dry paint, our Praxetti, Praxetti white. And we just do a quick dry brush over the mainly the top and his face. Okay, over the top of it, getting all the fur, some more dry brush paint, there we go, so mainly at the top, because again we don't want him to be a grey wolf, we want him to be a white wolf, however we do need to make sure we've got all that detail popping out. Otherwise, when you look on it on the tabletop, it won't look great. So, make sure you get the face. There we go. It's looking good. Looking good. And the tail as well. Don't forget the tail. go it's looking good and then the legs again when you do the legs leave the underneath gray or light it's like a lighter gray you got good contrast there you go well obviously you can't really see properly on the uh, on the camera but what I'll do is I'll take a picture and we'll get this uploaded at the end of the video so you can actually see this okay so there's ghost done well ghost is fur done i have to do is uh, do the details first so next one i'm going to move on to shaggy dog so shaggy dog has got all them different colors on it now okay it's where it's like darker to a light so you can actually see you've got a good good mix so we're gonna get some mechanicus standard gray Okay, mechanical standard grey and we're going to dry brush that in. We're just going to lightly dry brush it because what we're doing is we're trying to get the fur to sort of pop. Still keeping the darkness. Okay, we want him to pop a little bit. There we go. Mechanica Standard Grey is a nice little colour for that one. There we go. There we go. Again, you can't really see, but I'll take 
I'll take a picture of this one and I'll send it on. So, what we do now, get that brush, we now need to start doing the details. So, with the details, we'll do ghost first. Ghost has got red eyes, okay? And he's got his mouth closed, but um, if you look at ghosts, they've actually around the mouth, around sort of like the lips area, the sort of black lips. So we get a bad and black. We get our character brush. Okay, a bit of water. Always, always mix your paints with water. And then, a bit more water. There we go, right. Now all we're going to do is we're going to put a line where the eye is. And we're going to do another line where the other eye is. Okay. Make sure we get right in that. Some more water. If your brush is very dry, your paint ain't going to run nicely off it. So you must make sure you've got a nice, nicely wet brush. That's better. Especially when you're doing detail, okay? Using a small detail brush. So, there we go. And then what we do is we put a line around the mouth. So... Start at the top. We must make sure we get right round the mouth. And then just make sure. And then what we do is we do the nose. Do a black nose. Just like so. Right. So we do a black nose. And then what you can do is in the ears. Okay, in the ears. Put some more water. You can put black in the ears okay I'll show you this in a second so I'm just going to carry on doing all this and I'm going to do exactly the same with um, Shaggy Dog the only difference with Shaggy Dog is he's got his mouth open so I'm going to use a bit of Screamer Pink okay I'm going to use a bit of Screamer Pink in the mouth and then I'll come back and do the eyes. So, get some Screamer Pink. Where are you? Not Screamer Pink. Pink Horror. Hell a lie. Not Screamer Pink. Got some Pink Horror. Okay, let's get a little bit of that. Again, get some water. Got a shaggy dog. He's got his mouth open. So, we'll literally do it inside of his mouth. All the way up, and then we've got some teeth as well, so we can do them that color, color like a beach bleach bone. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so make sure we get right to the edges. Excellent, right? So that's them. Now I need to put red eyes in, okay? Put red eyes on that's not going to be great. So what I'm going to do, I put a bit of white, okay? So I'm using some ceramite white. In fact, I need to get some more of this because this is uh, almost run out. So ceramite white, again, some water in there. Get a fine point on your brush. And with a ceramite white, you're going to just put a little dab in ghost's eye. Just a little dot. Ok. 
there. Can you see that? No. I really need to get a new camera. And then exactly the same with Shaggy Dog, but this time instead of having a dot, I'm going to put a line. Okay, because it's already dark, so I'm going to put a line. And then another line. And while I'm here, I'm just going to dab the teeth. So the teeth's got a bit white. So teeth's not normally white, but I'm going to put some uh, shade on there, I think, just to make sure it's not so, not so bright. So white goes around like so. Okay, can't really see. But never mind. Right, and then with the ghost, I'm gonna get some evil sun scarlet. Gonna get a little bit on my brush. Make sure my brush goes into a point. I'm just gonna put a dab. Like a little dot. And go side. Now, you've got to be really careful with this one because you don't want to make a big mistake now after you've done everything else. So just a little dab. It. Now I use my hands to sort of help me guide it in as it were. Right, with Shaggy Dog, I'm going to put and give it black eyes, might as well. Like I say, this is not this is not no competition winner, this one. Okay, this is literally just getting it to a tabletop standard. A little bit better than tabletop. Right, there we go, so the eyes are in there, and that is, I just need to put shading now, so the shading on the mouth, I'm going to put a bit of cover crimson around the mouth, okay, and the reason for this is it'll shade the tongue, so it's not that colour, not the pink colour, it'll dye it down a bit and it looks a bit more natural, the White teeth will have a bit of red on them, so it looks like it's been munching on stuff. And then, if I'm gonna just dab it down a little bit further down, it kind of looks like it's got a reddish mouth. And I'm gonna do the same with ghost, but with ghost, I'm gonna just dab it around them lips. Just so it tints that mouth. Just tints the mouth area because obviously he doesn't get a wash. So when he's eating, go. Right. So that is both doggies painted. So they look okay. You know, for tabletop standard, they are good enough for tabletop standard. In fact, like I said, like I said they are better than a bit, little bit better than tabletop, standard tabletop anyway. But well, to make these look really good, we're going to have to do the bases. Now the bases are basically, uh, um, I'm going to use some, some uh, are basically like the same as the rest of my army, okay? So I'm going to base it like I have been basing these Umber Berserkers. As well, I'm going to base it the same as I've been doing Grey Wind, okay? So how I base them? very simple I have Sterland Battlemeyer okay Sterland Battlemeyer it's like a thick paste okay now you can get yourself a GW spatula to sort of put this on or I've got some sculpting tools so all I do is I mix it up get a sculpting tool get some on the actual thick part of the sculpting tool and then I blop it on okay like so. Yep, just blop it on. 
and then I just push it around the base okay and so I turn it around and I just push it around the base and what this is is basically paint with texture in it so it's got like little grip particles in it and when it dries if the you know the thicker you've put it on you're gonna have a thick pile of sort of muddy muddy bits to go on or if you do it thin it'll just paint it the brown that you want but I'm gonna dry brush over it because it's great for that because of the texture it gives you okay so let's put this in now this is ghost okay I'm doing it like this ghost is kind of up at the well the night's watch so night's watch are mostly snow but I don't like putting bases where it's just pure snow all over because it just doesn't look right I don't think it just doesn't look nice and I want these to look nice so I put a bit of mud on it like this and then once this is done I'm going to go over it with some uh, well I'm going to dry brush it yeah I'm going to dry brush it so it looks like mud and then once I've got it on mud I'm going to do similar to what I've done here but I'm going to put a ton more snow on it okay so it's not going to get fully covered but I'm going to say about 70% of it is covered 70 to 80 because then I think it looks better it might not be book accurate but I think it looks better it's more aesthetically pleasing on the uh, when you play on the game, uh, tabletop okay so just push that around all the way around doesn't matter if it gets on the pause okay doesn't matter at all make sure you get it all the way around the base like that okay and then all we do is we let that dry so I'm going to do the same now with Shaggy Dog and then I'll get back to you when it's all dry I'll show you what I do with it so see you in a sec right guys now that the Battle Maya Sterling has dried okay and I've done it on the tray as well okay we now need to bring the details out and pop them okay so we're going to use some dry brushing of Sylvanath back followed by a dry brush of Tyrant Skull and then once that's done we can then put some other details on it so we're going to put some grass some dead grass on there and um, some Valhalla Blizzard as well just to make it a bit snowy um, and then we'll pick out the actual details so this <laughs> gets very simple get some Sylvanath back put it onto our paintbrush wipe a bit of it off okay and then we just literally flick dry brush okay I'm not being neat here okay because I can neaten it all up with uh, some black afterwards so literally get around all of it make sure we've got all the details so what happens here is the Sylvanath back hits the highlights or hits the high points of the mud okay it's the high points and then it brings out the detail there. So I'll do that on everything, okay? I'll do that with the wolf as well. Paying attention this time now to actually keep away from the wolf that we've painted, okay? So we don't want to get it onto the wolf. Okay, we'll try and keep it away from the wolf itself. So I'm using this one as a medium dry brush just to cover a little bit easier. We might have to have a small dry brush on hand just to get between the cracks if you can't do it there we go okay and then we'll do ghost as well so we'll keep doing that and once that's done we then move on to doing our tyrant skull and the tyrant skull is the last highlight we do it where it's sort of like a nice soft highlight a soft dry brush really so this is kind of like a heavy dry brush so we get most of it Brown on, so it looks like a muddy brown okay there we go and then we take tyrant skull and you see I'm not actually cleaning my brush yet because I've actually wiped quite a bit of it off so I don't need to so tyrant skull as you can see that's what it's like now and if I put tyrant skull on it okay you'll be able to see the details are popping out much better okay so that's that one and you don't need to do much of this one because say it's the top highlight 
and we're going to put some grass over it anyway and some Valhalla Blizzard just to make it a bit more thematical more detailed on it okay and this just makes it like very muddy mud okay so once that's done we'll then move on to doing the actual grass okay there you go done so what we need to do now that's the painting done okay so if i put drag your dog back in there that is the painting done let me see his mouth okay that's the painting done of this i now need to put some grass on there now you can use you know normal glue which you know your normal sort of pva glue can use that um, but if you want to speed things up which i tend to like to speed things up because there's lots of stuff to paint especially when i'm doing a lot of commissions i use super glue okay get me grass get a piece of paper get me grass and then i just start putting super glue where i want the grass takes a little while for it to dry not too long you know just a few seconds let's put it all the way around okay so we get good coverage then all we do is we shake the grass over get some more shake the grass over just like that over the actual base itself and the super glue will stick to it immediately and it's quicker to actually put the rest of the stuff on. So the next part we put on is the snow. So once we do this, okay, we sprinkle it all over it, just like that. Okay, so you can see it's actually all over the base. And then tip it off, give it a tap, give it a blow. And you can see we've got grass there. Now what we need to do is do the same with Shaggy Dog. So put some of this all over. Basically, put it where it looks a little bit, you know, desolate or a little bit more browner than it needs to be. Okay, just like so. And we do exactly the same again. We just sprinkle this on, all the way over him, all the way around. Tap it, blow, and there we go. Okay, so do the same. Well, ghost a little bit different. So I'm going to leave ghost. His base is a little bit different because I'm going to put more snow in it. It's not going to be much grass. I'm going to put tufts coming out of the snow with that one. So with that one, I'm just going to put Valhalla and Blizzard on there. I don't have enough Valhalla and Blizzard at the moment. So I have to go and buy some. So that's why I use the tray, uh, the paper, so I can actually put the rest of the grass in there and I don't lose any. So once that's done, place. On. We got Valhalla and Blizzard. In Valhalla and Blizzard, we'll use the spatula thing again okay and we'll scrape the Valhalla blizzard make sure because again I need to get some more of this stuff and then we just place it like you would do like snow would be okay and then I'm just gonna push it in a little bit spread it around all the way around just like so if it gets a bit on the grass then don't worry about it because snow will go on the grass okay it's not going to avoid the grass, so don't worry about where you fully get in. I'm going to see if I can get some underneath him. Right, there we go. Looks a bit better. And then on the front, like so. Push it round. And then some of the back here. And you're just putting little bits on it. You're not trying to cover the full base because this is, uh, you know, sort of winter is coming for the Starks. So it's not here just yet. There we go, right, and there we go. So we just literally put that on there. And then, get some more of this off Halloween Blizzard. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this open. Okay, this is pretty much almost done now, so I need to cut this open, because I need to get right to the dregs of it. Okay, I have to buy some more for the rest of my army. That's the problem when you want the bases to look really nice. You start buying lots of stuff for the base, and it costs, June. Right, so get some more on there. And I'm just going to put a little bit on that side, take some off, put some over here, take some off, put some over here. And all I'm trying to do is squash it down to places where it looks nice 
I think it should be okay I'm trying to keep away from the lines the actual arc lines you know your flanking lines your front lines and stuff so just push it there push it there and then that out of the actual triangle there we go so where I do put it together and it looks like that you kind of got yourself there so we'll move on to the next part I want to make things a little bit more different shall we say a little bit better for this all right so what I'm gonna do make it a little bit above tabletop standard by doing the base really nice so people put like stones on there and stuff and that's fine and it does look nice but I'm gonna do something different I'm gonna look sort of wintry autumny leaves so I have a tea bag okay so I'm gonna open the tea bag up I'm gonna pour this tea bag now this tea bag is actually um, fruit tea like flavored tea okay I've got two tea bags I'm gonna open them up and the fruit tea I'm gonna put them in this pot here okay and it kind of looks like leaves okay sort of crumpled up leaves and things so all I'll do get myself my glue stick again I'm gonna put a bit of glue there take a little bit sprinkle it on okay a bit more take a little bit sprinkle it on it looks like patches of leaves patches of dead leaves which is pretty cool all through tea okay so obviously if you wanted to now these are like dead autumn color leaves okay you can actually get some of the uh, fruit infusion leaves or tea yeah so fruit infusion so you can make it red or um, you know different colors if you wanted but I find this just a few spotted around and it kind of makes it look like autumn leaves okay and I just sprinkle them on tap them off okay and there you go now all I do that is where's the lid for it there we go so keep that put it in the pot that I've just emptied which is good timing right what I've got to do now then is just paint the black rim okay just to sort of make it look nice and paint the black rim and paint the lines on here so again I mean, to be fair, I'm not going to teach you that suck eggs. You kind of know how to paint a black rim. So what we'll do is we'll go to the end. I'll show you the pictures. I'll put it on my turntable, try and get better pictures of it. Okay. And then, yeah, that is pretty much, if I stick it in there, just need to get your black around it. That is how you paint your dog. Very quick, very easy, and it looks really nice on the, on the pitch. On the pitch. In the field uh, I've already painted I've already painted summer and I've already painted grey wind and again I'm using there uh, as you can see I've put sort of red so I can do the uh, the lines you can actually see it a bit better so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the red lines on them ones and then I'll put all three dogs for the stacks on the picture and you can see how I paint them I paint them exactly the same way all right guys so, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe. Um, check out the, uh, the pictures afterwards, so don't uh, turn off just yet. Please uh, click on the notification button um, so you don't miss any of the videos that we upload. We are going to, he wants me to do a cavalry one as well, how to paint cavalry. So again, I'm going to paint some cavalry and I'm going to video that so you get to see it. Um, I've already painted my berserker unit, okay, and I've done the bases exactly the same. Okay, my a berserker unit. I've already done my base exactly the same. So trying to keep sort of unified. Um, so yeah, if there's anything else you guys want to see, then please leave us a message and uh, I'll do my best to try and paint them for you. But that's it. How to paint your wolves. Take care.